Now, I found my soulmate 10 years ago when I met David, and I'm so lucky to have him. It was love at first sight for Victoria and David Beckham, and it's been a romance for the ages ever since. The British football star and the former Spice Girls singer have one of the most enduring marriages in the world of sports and entertainment, and they've supported each other as they've built their careers and an incredible family. Their love story began more than a quarter century ago, when David and a friend were watching TV and saw the Spice Girls on screen, and he knew Victoria was the one right away. See that one there? I'm going to marry that one. And kind of, we're, you know, we're laughing and joking. I'm like, no, I'm going to marry that one. Victoria had also seen David before, and her interest was piqued. I've seen pictures of him in magazines, and he's obviously a really good-looking boy. The fact I went to the games really was just to kind of, some would say stalk him, I would say see him. Victoria attended a Manchester United game and talked to David in the players' lounge afterward, and sparks flew. That first time that I speak to her, I just fancied her. I just, I just fancied him. It was as simple as that. The sports star later recalled to Jimmy Fallon how he made his move. I decided, why not? You know, I'd, I'd try and get a number. And we talked for about an hour in the players' lounge, and then she actually got the train up that day. So she, uh, she wrote her number down on her um, train ticket, which I still have. Oh, you kept the ticket? Yeah. yeah oh, that's so ticket. cool that you I kept know. it. That's amazing. As they began to date, Victoria's Spice Girl sisters were a bit protective. But as Jerry Halliwell told Access, David soon won them over. I was very much about girl code. So I was like, um, you know, it was all about the girls first. And so it was like, for me, it was dreams before dates. <laughs> and so I'd be like quite protective and, you know, suspicious and protective of my girlfriends. They're like sisters. It doesn't really matter who it is. But, you know, Dave is like a brother and I care for him and her greatly. David and Victoria's relationship came as their careers were skyrocketing, and they initially took pains to keep their budding romance out of the spotlight. I was just coming into, obviously, the fold at Manchester United, and obviously Victoria was the biggest star. You know, she was obviously Posh Spice in the Spice Girls and, you know, world famous. So that was the difficult part. You know, uh, she's from Harlow, I'm from East London, yeah. I'm from, you know, Chinkford, Leytonstone. <laughs> so we just found a way of keeping it quiet. We met in car parks, I drove down to London to see her on a day off. It worked. We, we sneaked around the, the back of, a, of the beef eats of car parks and and sat with each other for hours. During their first year of dating, they snuck in a romantic two-day trip to Portofino. It was the first time we'd ever been on a trip together. We didn't want anyone to know about the relationship. Yeah. I was busy with the Spice Girls. David was playing for Manchester United. Right. So the fact that we had 48 hours together, just the two of us, was super special. In 1998, David and Victoria revealed that they were engaged. The athlete popped the question with a stunning diamond, and it was everything his fiance had imagined. Is that Victoria. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's lovely. It was a surprise as well. Later that year, the two became pregnant with their first child. Victoria broke the happy news to David the night before his World Cup game against Argentina. He was so, so happy. We both were. And there was never any doubt in my mind that I shouldn't tell him. I mean, it was what we wanted, and he could not have been happier. The following spring, they welcomed their firstborn son, and David revealed his name to the press outside the hospital. Brooklyn, Joe. Brooklyn was there when his parents tied the knot in a lavish wedding ceremony at an Irish castle later that year. And it wasn't long before Brooklyn became a big brother. David and Victoria welcomed their second child, son Romeo, in 2002. The following year, their family of four had quite the shakeup when David was transferred from Manchester United to Real Madrid, and they all moved to Spain. While the Beckhams were settling into their new life there, things got rocky, as reports broke that David allegedly had an extramarital affair. It was the hardest period for us because it felt like the world was against us. And here's the thing, we were against each other, if I'm being completely honest. In his Netflix documentary, Beckham, David said he wasn't sure how they got through that period, but they did. We're fighters. And at that time, we needed, we needed to fight for each other. We needed to fight for our family. The pair fought for their love and grew their family. In 2005, they welcomed their third child, a son named Cruz. The Beckhams remained in Madrid for two more years before they headed across the pond. David signed with the LA Galaxy in 2007, and their family relocated to California. Victoria got to Los Angeles first and spent time trying to find their new home. 
All I know is that this is where David's going to train. This is where I'm hoping the, the boys are going to go to school. And I've got to find a house kind of right in the middle. And I looked at so many houses and just nothing was right. You know, you're spending a lot of money. This is a big move. I want the family to be happy. So I took my time and I am so happy with what I've got. David hasn't seen it yet. So long as we're together as a family, that's the main thing. But I wanted something that was going to be, you know, our taste. A month later, the whole fam moved in and Victoria's hard work paid off. She was very nervous when we turned up yesterday because obviously it's the first time I, I've seen the house. So she was nervous, but um, you know, the house looks great. The kids are happy and uh, Victoria's very happy. The boys have uh, already, you know, jumped on their beds and, and claimed their, their spot. So uh, yeah, they're very happy. While the boys got settled in LA, it wasn't long before they got to travel and see Victoria's world tour with the Spice Girls. For our kids, this is the first time our children have seen us performing. And, you know, for our kids to see that, you know, their mummy's a pop mummy's star. Mummy's a pop star. Mummy's a pop star, that's really cool. You know, yeah. mummy doesn't just, you know, moan about doing homework and yeah. eating yeah. eating dinner. So it's cool. The boys can't wait. You know, the boys have never seen. Brooklyn was two when I took him to the concerts. But, you know, none of them obviously remember that. So uh, it's going to be exciting for them as well. Victoria had so much fun on tour but was eager to return to the joys of everyday life with David and their boys. As much as I love what I do, my priority, I've always said, is my family. And my children have to go back to school and my husband has to go back and play soccer. And my place is with them. The Bob star is a doting mom, and she found a great balance between letting her kids have fun and teaching them core values. I think it's important that children have respect. You know, the, the first words out of my children's mouths after mama and dad were pleased and thank you. You know, I'm very strict. We have very strong family values, um, but they're free spirits as well. You know, I would say when you have three children, for me, having three boys, it becomes less about parenting and more about crowd control. Don't do this, don't do that, don't touch this, don't touch that. You know, because three boys is a lot. You know, it's just keeping them all under under control because they're lively, they're boys, you know, they want to kick footballs all the time, they're, they're active. David is also a caring dad, and it was one of the many qualities Victoria gushed about on a 2008 red carpet. He's obviously incredibly good looking, he's a wonderful husband, fantastic father, um, you know, and he's so inspiring to, to not just me, but millions and millions of people out there. He's just great, you know, we're very lucky to have each other. Their family of five became a family of six in 2011, when the couple welcomed a daughter named Harper. Just months after her birth, David gushed over life with his little girl. Everything that she does, from the moment she wakes up to the moment she sleeps, um, it is a totally different thing. You know, obviously I'm used to having boys. Uh, we've got three amazing boys, but you know, there's a lot of energy with them. Uh, with Harper, she's so calm, she's so ladylike, she's so feminine. Everything that she does is something different. Everything she does is a milestone because, you know, like I said, I've never had that before. Family has always meant everything to David and Victoria. Through the years, the two have maintained close bonds with their kids, and the lines of communication are always open. They're very honest children, and, uh, and they share everything with us up until now. Um, so hopefully that continues. But um, no, he's at a nice age. But, the, you know, people always say, you know, about the kids being at a great age. I, I think every age, every year is a good age because it's just something different with the kids. You know, they always teach you something right. or, or say something that, you know, you love. So They've got great role models. Well, we try to be. David and Victoria have also been role models in how they love each other, setting an example of an enduring marriage for their children. Brooklyn had his parents' lessons in mind when he married Nicola Peltz in 2022, and he learned his happy wife, happy life mindset directly from how his dad prioritizes his mom. Who was the example of like, well, listen, if it's gonna go well, it's gotta go her way, in a lot of ways. It was my dad. It was you, my dad. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It was just like, just live life and just make sure your missus is happy. You know, that's, I mean, that's kind of... That's what he told me. That's best. Of, that's, so, I mean, a good advice you can get, yeah, I think. I do that. everything to make her happy and make her feel comfortable. So it's good fun. You I know, love Girls it. run the world and guys just live on this planet. So you're not wrong about it. As their kids have grown up and made their marks on the world, Victoria and David have continued to pursue their own passions. Vic has cheered on her husband as he's built his own football club in her Miami CF. And David's been just as supportive as his wife's fashion career continues to flourish. As Victoria shared back in 2007, she and David always have each other's back, and it's clear that's never changed. I'm so lucky to have him and so blessed to have my children. Um, we help each other. 
you know. We, we, our, our careers are like this, you know. It's like a roller coaster ride all the time. When I'm here, he's here. When he's here, I'm here. And we're there to support each other.